Lima Gocha is opening a brand new location in Laval, 4050 Boulevard Le Corbusier. Not to be missed. Prima Gocha, they sell bulk coffee, they fix and repair coffee machines. You can get your biscuits, you can get your cakes, you can get your party baskets. Everything you want, go and see Prima Gocha and most of all, don't miss out on the coffee. What's up, Pete? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it? Good morning, good, I wish. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> good morning. So and over here. The wood is always up, so it's always morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin right off the bat. <laughs> Shang, we hit you with the morning wood. The goes up. Alfie's back. Alfie's back. It's Next always segment. the sunshine. <laughs> so let the sun shine in. <laughs> no, no, let the sun shine in. Let it in. Let it all go out. <laughs> Eat it with a grin. <laughs> hey, Steph, do you have a cold sore? I mean, to get to have a cold sore, it's, it's a fever blister. That it's, it's a fever blister or a cold sore? I think it was a fever blister. It's the same thing, no? A fever blister is a cold sore. But it's it's not the size of it's the size of a fucking pizza. It's like it's almost covering. Because my... can I ask you something? When is it contagious? Because I feel it bubbling, but there's I, there's nothing there. There's no blister. That's when it's contagious. It's when you feel it tingling. It's contagious. And then when it bursts, tingling. it's contagious. You know what happened what... to me? I I didn't know I had anything. Right? I was just whatever. And I went to scratch, like I felt itchy. I scratched, but there was like a little head on it or something. I scratched and I ripped skin and everything fucking exploded. And now it's like, I don't want to touch it, but my lips are also chapped with uh, the dry. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, woo. It's out of huh. control. <laughs> Not fun. No, but and, no, but you... and it's nice to do a podcast to make sure that everybody sees it. <laughs> and pointing it out at the same time, I mean, it's good. No, it's because it's because I kissed my wife and then I felt the tingling and I'm like, did I pass on the? And she doesn't have it. No, that was the wood. No, 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 no. The it's when you start the getting the bubbles. Mm. <laughs> You're such a... Because I, there's there's no there's there's nothing. It's like I got my lip my lips are smooth, but I feel the tingling. <laughs> but I kissed my wife and I go, did I give it to her now oh, or is it the? If she or is no, 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 no. If she wakes or is up it like when this? the blister bursts that uh, that it's contagious? It bursts when it bursts because the liquid is contagious. Yeah, Even okay. when it's scabbed, it's contagious. You have to wait till but the scab is completely nothing, gone. But when you have nothing, it's not contagious. No, you're it's just contagious, carrying it. It's contagious, but at very low risk, in other words. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Welcome to myoclinic.com. You didn't get it down there. <laughs> How are you guys doing, man? How are you doing? Hopefully. Good, yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Back to Ligon Bari. Where did it go? It, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so, so, what, what, what's today's topic? What's today's topic? Lisa, tell us what today's topic is. Today, the topic is bocce. Ah, Can that's... I ask you something? Why yeah. is it every time you think about something, it has to do with balls? <laughs> <laughs> You're the That's, next <laughs> That's next week segment. Next week it's gonna be Alfie's balls. Fuck. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go with the box. What was the box? Well, well, first, That's good. We should explain what the game is because people. I thought have you were gonna say it's good. It's good it's about like, balls. Really good. You, you know, you know what? But explain it very carefully, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but first you have to say where it's from. We have to say where it's from. Okay, go say where it's from. Do the research. Okay. Um, so, go, I go, did do the research. There's research behind it. No, see if you're smart at you're, you're the researcher. So, okay, so it's been anglicized here in Canada mm -hmm. as bocce ball or bocce with an I. Um, so, it, okay, it's funny because the original intent of the sport was founded by a family called Bull. B O U L E S. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bull. And, yeah. B -O -U -L -E -S. And it was founded where? Uh, it was actually it was uh, founded by I believe it was um, um, okay it's a cross between France uh, the game is called petanque uh, petanque uh, yes and then it's crossed into Britain it's it's called British Bulls let's say B O W L S so it's, uh, the bocce game is actually crossed between those and it, the French name is came from the Bulls family and it's from uh, petanque that's the game. Okay. And um, 
So basically, it was played in the Roman Empire, believe it or not. It was first played, played in Italy in the 18th century. Wow. Wow. Yes, so it stands we don't all the way. We play balls today. We played them even back then. We've always played with balls. Part of life. <laughs> It's just part of life, that's it. <laughs> that's why so many men enjoy playing. Yeah. Um, so, so I can explain so, uh, to me. To me. I can explain yeah, to me. The first rule is that if you're in a, an Italian area with Italian old men, you got to bring the boxing gloves up. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's, so you and know what? That's what matches. I like about it. That's what I like about it because here, I don't know about Italy. I know here in Canada and Francesca, maybe next time we can ask her. Uh, when she decides to come on the, the podcast. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Bocce yeah. in Italy, uh, she said they don't play. Okay. So here, <laughs> there you go. We don't even have to ask her anymore. Now we know. Uh, so here, I mean, you go to a park any in any, like, any anywhere in Montreal, at least. Uh, even in Vancouver, I know they do in Calgary. Wherever there's Italians, they have bocce courts. Like, they have courts to play this sport. And it's a big thing. And you know what? I actually enjoy it. It's a good way to get out, have fun with your friends. Some of them take and play it with your balls. And play with balls. <laughs> uh, but they, it's, I didn't say it this time. So it's literally if here in Canada, I don't know if you know, but curling is a humongous sport in Canada, and it's the exact same rules. It's the exact same game, except done on ice with you know bricks that are heavy bricks instead of balls. Um, so basically, there's two teams, and I believe you get four shots every turn. So there's one ball that uh, that is thrown on the other end of the court, kind of like um, the tiny one. The tiny one is thrown at the other end of the court. It's usually played on like sand, or not sand, but like um, you can play on Grass. the beach for sure. But they play on like gravel. That's uh, the courts are made of gravel. Well, you can play in sand, grass, wherever you want. So that little ball becomes kind of like the target. So in curling, it's the center. And basically that little ball, now each team has four shots. So and there's two, you know, each team has a different color. And the amount of balls, the ball that's closest to the little ball, or whoever has point. the most balls, you get a point by being the closest one to the little ball. So if you can have all of your four <laughs> balls, the worst part is I hear Lisa laughing. I know she can't. We're not going to get through this because it's ball. <laughs> no, because it's like the little ball has to get close. The big balls have to get close to the little but balls and the four gonna, balls. I, I was going to say something else, but I was going to keep my mouth shut. It's a bit political. I don't know if we're allowed to say anything political on the... We're allowed to say whatever the fuck we want. Like big well, balls, this little is balls. Well, this is Justin Trudeau's favorite game. He likes to play with balls. Play with balls. There you go. <laughs> More than just political. <laughs> um, so, I mean, basically, the goal is to get as many of your balls closest without the other team... Without the other team, uh, we can't even do this. This is done. It's finished. We can't. No, do no, this. no! Without the other team, go, go, go! Say it. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the first time. It's Lisa that's laughing. Funny. Okay, go on. <laughs> anyway, it's yes. the balls that make her giggle. It's you see the minute we bring a ball, she's down. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What the oh my hell? god, you guys. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, look, the leg went up. The leg went up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, to get a point, guys, you have, yeah. to, you have to have as many of your colored um, balls <laughs> next to the little ball. Uh, so basically, you can knock out the other team's balls from being close, but the goal is so if two of your balls are closest to the little one um, and the other team has like one and then you have another, like it's hard to explain, but uh, it's as many balls that are as closest to the little one uh, without the other team's ball being there. So if it's one and then there's the other team's ball, then you get one point. If there's two of your balls and then the other team's ball, you get two points. If there's three, and then if all these balls I mean, are together, it's, too a, many it's, balls in that it's an orgy. <laughs> it's a fest. There's too many balls it's in a that ball fest. Instead. But anyways, forget the rules. You can Google the rules of bocce because I don't want to get through this. Google it. It's kind of like... <laughs> but what I like is that, you know what? It's a good pastime. It's fun to play on the beach, on the grass. You can go have a few drinks, throw it's some hard. balls, and you're flying. 
<laughs> you can play with the balls anywhere on the beach, on the grass. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> if it tickles. If it tickles. they roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is it is a fun game to play. Though. It is. It is Especially a lot of fun. Especially if you actually go to any any uh, park where they have the uh, bocce like courts. Yeah. You can actually you know when you're getting closer. Oh yeah. Because you hear all the towns yelling at each other. Yeah, I, exactly. They start yelling. It's I true. love it. It's so fun. They get yeah, excited did, about it. But it brings back memories. My father used to play. Yeah, like God rest his soul. He used to play, and he used to have a like. A ball. <laughs> <See> a ball. <laughs> <laughs> he had a blast. He really did have a blast. And it's funny because it's sort of like a it's a it's a way for the the older generation to communicate. Like they and it, they sit down and they take a sport or they take a card game and that's how they communicate and they start talking about everything and anything. It's a great bonding game, I think, for the it's older generation. Kind of like bingo. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that the times when they play like they'll, they'll get back and as they they do those three four steps, they throw the ball, but they keep following the ball. I know. <laughs> it's like curling. It's like they think by following they the give ball, it leverage. The ball is gonna <laughs> It's like curling. You never notice curling where they 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 hold the puck and they hold it and they let it go, but they're still sliding with the puck yeah. as it's going, yeah. right? Yeah. Same idea. But it's, it's funnier because you got like little shorter old men <laughs> following the ball. The crazy thing is curlers are super athletic. They're very athletic people because we used to make fun of it as a sport. You call that a sport where you we glide and you, and you uh, you broom over there. What is that? But it's super athletic. It's it's a hard game on the ice. It's, a lot harder than with the bocce balls for sure you know yeah uh, but you gotta learn how to skate before you know how to no there's no skate. yeah no there's no skating there's no skates uh, oh, no, no. you're sliding on the ice yeah you gotta drag that puck it's a heavy puck it's very heavy and mm -hmm. uh and then so you basically clean the ice for it to glide if you want it to go strong uh you know stronger to hit it or sometimes you can you know change its course by the the brooming over there, but uh, yeah, it's a very physical sport. Uh, <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. The woman's mm -hmm. sport. No, no, I don't like. No, I hate. I don't like curling at all. Like, it's horrible. No. When did you ever go? Well, when I figured did you ever play curl? <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't. What? <laughs> when did I no. ever go curl? What? Why did you go curl? I said I curled with all the brooming. <laughs> yes, I am a curler. I, I plug in my Revlon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you grab the broom every night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to curl to do that. No, but uh, I mean, I wait, 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 hold on, hold on, back up. I missed like a little spot. What, 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 I heard broom, and I don't need to use what, 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 I don't need to curl to broom. <laughs> oh my god! Is that the toes that curl? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so bad. You're back to the ball conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you know what? You should you should definitely not you guys, but people watching. Uh, if you haven't played bocce, it's a lot of fun. It's a good hang, right? Uh, yeah. You get together and play bingo. It's a good hang. You get together and play bocce. You're outside. You enjoy the sun. You have a few yeah. laughs. Uh, you make fun. Of it's more of a summer game. Definitely it is. in the winter, it it's is. not going to happen. You can try. Uh, you're Fall. not going to get very far. Yeah, you can play it uh, on your iPad. It turns into outside. curling at this point. Yeah, exactly. It turns into curling. Bring the broom. Hey, you know what? New game. Bocce you curling. But I, li I like the fact that, you know, elder Italian people, they find ways to have fun. And, and that's the way. It's not a physical game. So, uh, like I said, you know, a lot of the my grandma used to go play bingo every night. It's just a bunch of old people playing bingo. They pass the time. They crack a few jokes, and bocce is the same thing. And it's funny. Uh, do you know? Yeah, go on. Sorry. It's funny that in Italy they zero none of this. Isn't it funny? Uh, I mean, I mean, it, it was popular from what I, I researched. It was popular, and it's popular in Liguria. Wow. Italy. Yeah. But have or you like, noticed I'm... that there's another game in Italy? <clears throat> I've seen oh. a couple of videos on this. Yeah. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand what the game is. That they're in the middle of the street and they're just throwing like, looks like they're throwing gang signs at each other. And That's they're getting called a fight, a and brawl. Huh? <laughs> what? That's a brawl. <laughs> and they're like throwing like, and ching, kuto, three, quattro. I don't know what they're saying. And wow. like you got, they're surrounded by people. I don't know if you ever seen that. There's a couple of videos on that. 
the yeah. little villages. It's a game, and like the whole village is standing around and they're toying fingers at each other, and I don't know what the hell they're doing. And you see that they're getting nervous and throwing stuff around. And that's because they're Italian. But besides that, uh, I've never uh, seen that. No. They're cleaning their house. I, clean. I gotta look for it. Then uh, you know what? Let me look. <clears throat> I will look for it now. <clears throat> but maybe uh, I'll send it to you, Steph. Uh, mm -hmm. One of those links. Yeah. And uh, it's it's just the, and you see like they're surrounded by people in a village, and then like they switch. They got the like uh, three on one side, three on the other side. So one guy gets el not eliminated, but gets pushed aside. Another guy comes in, and, get, and they're just throwing numbers. Ting, and I'm wow. like, what the hell? Maybe it's a Italian <laughs> version how to of count, roulette. Learning how to count. <laughs> Maybe it's an Italian <clears throat> version of roulette. You know. It could well, be. Well, either that or they have no schools over there, so they're trying to figure out. <laughs> trying to, this first. is how we count. <laughs> Guys, you want to hear something <laughs> funny? Team, could I do it? Give me nobody. Who does he leave it out? I have two things to say that's funny. One, I just found on the, the net. The U.S. of A. has a uh, professional bocce league. It's called yeah. the Fairy Bocce League. No doubt. Yeah, so they have, which is really cool. I didn't even know that they did. And also today, and this is a fun fact, um, it's uh, character. It's basically an Olympic sport. Well, today, really, yeah, Olympic yeah. sport in Italy, yeah. a and place it's, where today, they don't play. It. <laughs> right. So maybe it wasn't uh, there that they don't play it somewhere. Yeah. Anyway. I don't get it's not Italy, but yeah, apparently it's the third most played sport in the world. Probably, yeah. Well, it costs nothing. You can play with uh, anything, right? You don't really need to. The balls cost, I don't know, twenty bucks. Yeah, but, no, but you can play with any. Is it more, <laughs> more than, that? than that, Steph? Steph, you're looking at it the depends. balls. If you look, yeah, I've seen them at uh, no, I've seen them at the dollar store. They're not good. I swear to God. They're plastic. It's the kids' ones. Yeah, yeah. whatever. But you can still play. <laughs> you throw them, the wind blows, the ball goes the other way. <laughs> Say, anybody get closer to the palino? <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> you throw it, it goes that way. Too funny. You wait, you. Funny. If you're good at it, you tell the player, okay, uh, uh, the wind's blowing, you tell your opponent, I'm skipping this one, throw yours. <laughs> <laughs> but you ball know what goes. it's called? You know when you okay, and I just figured out um, when the one of the players, I guess one color, is trying to knock out the ball of the other co uh, color. It's called um, spocking. Spock. It's called what? Spocking. Spocking. Spock. You know Spock? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From, at an end. Spocking. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Spocking. So that means that the Spocky. opponent is trying to. <laughs> It's it, it's Spock, but Ingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh two and two. Uh, two and two. Okay. Two, two and two. two. Spocking. <laughs> hey, fuck! I, I, hey, that's a new urban uh, urban. What do you call those urban? Uh, <laughs> spocking. Two two in the pink. Or two in the stink. <laughs> no, spocking. that's one in spocking. the pink. One in the pink and two in the stink. <laughs> One no. in the pink and two in the pink. <laughs> no, but it's spocking. That's a game from. That's a song, bro. From Steel Panther. No, but wait, it's spocking. <laughs> Did you know so that? If so if you're spocking, you're two in the pink, two in the stink. <laughs> but did you know that that's a song from Steel Panther? Did you what? know that? It's two, <laughs> two in the <laughs> pink, two in the pink, and one in the stink. That's the song they sing about That's that. So uh, really? Girl. Yes. Check but it, it out. But if, but Steph, if you <laughs> add the other finger, it's spocking. <laughs> we Star might get Trek, beat me in. No, we beat might me in. Beat me in. <laughs> we might get kicked off of YouTube now. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> they might ban us for life. But I love it. <laughs> we didn't say anything wrong. Speaking of which, no, nothing wrong. Um, no, we we, we shot out colors. Yeah, you know, we're gonna get complaints from parents. And fingers. Kids are watching this. <laughs> um, we get ratings. Why not? By the way, let's talk about the giveaway. Yes. Giveaway. Hang on. Yes, Lisa's. I didn't get know it. I was being given away to. Uh, That's fucking you. <laughs> you didn't know. You missed it last week. The fuck we happened? Gave, we gave you away. <laughs> so we have an option. We had a Tarali d'Amore giveaway. 
And we got quite a few people that entered this contest. I even got messages yep. for it. Wait, uh, hold on. Where do you go on to get? <laughs> too late. Yep. Uh, <laughs> too late, too late. Actually, we're gonna have other ones on our other podcast because that Tarali Damore sponsored us, so we're gonna have other giveaways. So, Al, when you're ready, uh, yeah, you can go on uh, on uh, the comment section, and uh, you might win once we pick your name. And we did pick a name. We had quite a few people, which was fun, yeah. fun to see. Uh, How did you pick the name, though? We, we socked it. Yeah, we spotted. Lisa put the names, uh, I would imagine she put the names in a bag and picked out a name. Yeah. Yeah. We don't you do it live because we you have sp- a... Are you spotting it? <clears throat> we spotted. <laughs> you spotted. So, announce the winner. Me? You want me to do it? Or you? I yeah, can you do, do it. it. Okay. You, you do it. <laughs> so, it's, it's someone actually that we've known for quite a while. Well, we've known. She's been watching us for the longest time. You remember Val Miyamoto? Yes. Remember Val? Ah, really? Yes. Right. Yep. Yes. She definitely won the Tarali. Um, amazing. Uh, you're going to love this, Val. So Val the Miyamoto, amazing. You're going to love this. The Taralis are amazing. Thank you, Tarali D'Amore. Uh, Thank now, you. We're going to reach out. Thank you, thank you. If you watch this, you can reach out to us, but we're going to reach out to you at some point during the week. Uh, we can either bring it to you, or you can come and get it, or you can come to one of our filmings, whatever uh, whatever you like. So yeah. when, so, so when, like, when you do, like, these giveaways and all that, yeah. can you give me a win? <laughs> <laughs> we did. You didn't realize. They gave you back. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been on GH or something. You must have drugged me because I don't remember anything. You're going with the Taralis. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, uh, that's a lot hey, of fun. Val, congrats, congrats. Yes, Val. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much for uh, competing. Maybe we should have a bocce game. <laughs> <laughs> we should. We should. You know what? How about this? We should. We should do this one day. Like rent out a port. And say uh, anybody that loves the Kumbari and likes to watch, yeah. come to the court and play like the summer or something like that. Hey, I have an even yeah. better idea. How about we don't what? pay for something that you can get anywhere but in my backyard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do it. Or we go to the nearest park that has it. Yeah. Fight off yeah. the old men. Probably used the old play, men will win. We used to play on the grass, anywhere on the grass, as long as you see yeah. the ball. <laughs> and we, have, we invite everybody. A picnic outside. Exactly. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh my god. Yeah, Guys, I'm gonna I do totally a agree. quick I'm gonna do a quick segment. Go. Okay. Quick segment of Steph's game. Yay. Okay, hold on. It better not be one of those uh answer a question with a question, right? No no no, this is no, my it's gig. Steph. I'm just gonna tell you a story <laughs> yeah. about one of my gigs. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't really think about this, uh, because I have tons of stories. But uh, this one was funny because it was last week. Well, it's not, it's not, well, okay, it's a funny story that happened. But I, there's two reasons I want to talk about this game. First thing, it was a Tuesday night. So it was last Tuesday at the Chateau Champlain, which is quite a big hotel downtown. Right, you know, it's uh, smack in the middle of downtown. And it's a room I've never played. So generally, I've played in the Grand Ballroom. I've played in a lot of different rooms there, but I didn't know they had this room. I can't remember the name of it. But it's a room built for parties, but it's also, it looks like a theater. So it's got different levels. Like, it, you know, there's five or six tables, and then you go down four steps, five steps. There's another five or six oh, steps. Neat. With, That's with, cool. with, with like, a, it, they're all balconies. And there's balconies on the sides, too. And there's all tables, 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 and there's like four different sections, like a theater. And then the last one, there's a big stage for the band and the dance floor is the last section right uh, but uh, this company came in they were there i don't remember the name of the company i don't even think i'm allowed to say who it was because they have all these rules and we were hired from an event planner uh, but just to say the amount of money that was spent i mean they had our band was a 10-piece band and we were just one eighth of the uh, entertainment that evening but just to tell you wow, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah yeah they had um like uh, trapeze artists they had uh dancers they had people that did like i don't want to say pole dancing because it wasn't stripper dancing but it was pole dancing like strong people flipping they had a water show on the stage 
Yeah, wow. Fun. wow. We do our setup and then they're like, oh, uh, this can't be in front of this tape because we have a water show and it's going to get splashed. I'm like, what? <laughs> they keep it to get it back and I fucking kill you. But <laughs> they had, it was so controlled, super controlled. The water did splash all over the place, but not where our instruments were. It was, uh, they had, what else did they have? Oh my God. Um, uh, they had a four piece string section playing. They literally, it was, and we only went on at like 10 o'clock just for the oh, party wow. at the end of the night 10 to midnight we played and everyone partied the hell out of it and it's a tuesday night it went till we stopped the party at 12 30 because our contract ended but otherwise they would have kept going and it's true oh, wow. they all had to work the next day well they all had to work they were hundreds of employees that were in that hotel for a whole week oh no nice. so it was probably like a reunion or something 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 but the funny part of the story is at one point so, you know, during dinner, we're just kind of watching. We, we, we were in another room. We eat in another room. And we just went to see what was going on. So the band, we kind of all went. And we're at the back of the hall. And again, it's levels, right? So we're at the back, the, the last level. And we're looking down. And a bunch of us are standing there looking. And my drummer, little girl, her name is Jadley, she, was, uh, she took out her phone. And she starts taking a video of... of the, the, the place and, and, and everything. Meanwhile, they're doing speeches. The MC at this point is still talking. And while she's doing this, he goes, so ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take a group photo. So if you notice at the back of the room, we have our photographer ready to take a picture. So everybody turn around. How they thought it was her? Turn around and, and the photographer is going to take a picture of everybody, you know, laughing, smiling or whatever. So the whole, now the band, we all hear him say this and we run out, we get out of there. The girl Jadley, our drummer Jadley was sick, so she's just taking a video, she's not <laughs> listening. So you set her up, so, so you the whole, set her up. The whole fucking hall, there's 400 people, they're all staring at her and she's standing there taking a video. They all think she's going to take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on the side, I'm like, die. And she has no idea. Yeah. All looking at, and they're all like making faces and she's like, taking pictures <laughs> anyway she walks off and i'm like did you realize that the whole hall was just staring at you because they thought you were the photographer it's like what do you mean i was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh that concludes and you just the... left her out to dry it's not that we left her out we just left because we heard him say look at the back of the room and i'm like well, i'm out of here and the whole band left she didn't hear it she's standing there like, so so in another words lisa if, if stefano if somebody screams out if somebody yells out the building is burning do not count on stefano He's no the i'm out of there no no i'm out of there too funny too yeah. funny too yeah. funny it was not hilarious it was hilarious. <laughs> anyway, that's my steps gig. That's what it was. Yay, that's well, that, funny. That was, that was awesome. Actually, I would have yeah. killed. I would have killed it. I would have killed it. I would have killed it. Funny. It was so funny. Oh my god. Yeah, I would have killed it. Now that's we make fun. Funny. Yeah. That's well, crazy. Oh my god. Sell her pictures afterwards. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what they did. I, I was out of there. <laughs> Ciao! Oh my god. I'm out of here quickly watching. Ah, uh, well, guys, you know what? Time is running up, but that's our uh, that's our podcast, man. That's, uh, that's it. That's, that's it. That's it, man. We keep them short. I hope he's like, we something else to happen. Uh, I was drinking wine. I'm just starting to get my buzz. I know. It's not like the old school days where we used to go on for an hour and the second be hammered by the end. We used to fucking, when we used to video <laughs> shoot, Recently, yeah. when I wouldn't show up drunk, you would start <laughs> getting me drunk, oh. and then like afterwards, everybody like I've been leaving now, like two hours later, <laughs> like no, we're in the park, hey, sun's out, but where is everybody going? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna take a leak behind the mirror's tree, come back, what's up? Yeah, we used to have fun, man, we used to have fun. We'll do it once again, we'll do it once again. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, pee behind the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys on that note let's uh let's call it for next weekend thank you again Tarali Damore yay yeah. thank congrats you. Thank you. Oh, congrats guys keep watching if you have any messages for Likumbare please feel free to let us know we'll come up with something we do have a new skit on the way right Lisa it's coming up it's gonna be Wait, a new skit what do you mean a skit so we're gonna do every couple of podcasts we're gonna do like a little segment not a skit a little segment we're gonna talk about something 
and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to go into uh, How about acting skits. Those would be nice. Yeah, that's yeah. what we try to do, but you couldn't do it. Though. <laughs> so I tried with the questions. Dude, Remember? it's a question with a fucking question. It's too funny. Yeah, I know. I mean, you're answering like it, and life. then you're like, it's like living in my house. You know, it's like the married life. A question with a question, but the but I'm more like, oh. That was funny. <laughs> That's my question. Oh, no, that was the best. I was like, what? did, did you put the luggage in the time. car? No, I didn't put it in the car. Was I supposed yeah. to? We all saw it. Go watch, guys. The last, uh, the last. <laughs> The last two ep two episodes ago, it was hilarious. One of the funniest uh, Let's Get Quizzicals ever. So that was funny. Guys, go check it out. Yes. Once again, thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing. Keep on watching. Tell a friend. Share it. Phone a friend. Whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Have a good Bye. 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 Bye.